Uh, ma'am, normally when you pump gasoline, you need to have a car. Please don't touch my baby! Ma'am, the pump isn't even on. Are you feeling okay? Never better. Wanna fuck? Don't touch me! <laughs> You're all trying to kill me! I don't want pudding! There's bugs on it. It's alright. I'll just go back to my booth and pretend you already left. Don't go. Without your added weight, we might fall straight up. I don't want to die in the clouds like a dog. I think gravity would prevent that. So they got to you too. It's all clear to me now. I need to gather supplies. Do you happen to have an axe for sale? Sure do. It's right next to my car with the keys in the ignition. I'll just walk on my back turn till you can get it. <laughs> Broke down in the driveway, there's beer cans in the yard. The toilet won't flush and you look like George Picard. The whores have ED, but they're practically free. This is the last place you'll ever see. Papito Street, Papito Street. You're no better than Papito Street. This is Lost Toilet, where you swim with the turds or drown. Studies now show spousal abuse can extend your life up to 20 minutes a slap. And, in local news, police are still searching for escaped mental patient Stabatha Looney. Looney was serving time in the New Beaver Center for the Criminally Insane after the 2003 slayings in the now infamous Finger Cuff Massacre. Authorities describe her as psychotically violent and relatively unpleasant. Anybody who sees her are asked to contact police, catch her in a butterfly net, or kill vigilante style. And in sports, some little leaguers got a big surprise when all of their skin exploded simultaneously. Hey weirdo, where's your dumbass friend? He's in the window, talking to me. Well, I came over to invite you boys over to my place later for a barbecue. Why? We hate you. Want you boys to meet my woman? Ugh, your ex-wife? Hell no. That bitch is as dead to me as our son she drowned. No, I'm a-talking about my new mail order bride. You mean one of those Eastern European hookers with crotch lice that'll probably get you hooked up with some crazy mob bullshit? Yup, bought her with my settlement money. You know, Buford, I never thought I'd say this to you, but... Cool. If you see jackass before me, tell him to come around seven. Coming up next, boobs. <laughs> oh, there you are, boy. Been looking all over for you. Looking for me? Why don't you try looking in the mirror, Jack? Take your biased accusations elsewhere. Almost anyone could have used your mailbox as a toilet. I was wondering why my mail smelled funny. But anyways, I was hoping you boys would come on by later for a barbecue and meet my woman. Oh my God, you're getting back together with her? Yeah, something like that. Oh, fuck. If Buford gets together with his ex-wife, they'll sell the house, and I'll be boned. No time to think things through. This calls for immediate action. <laughs> I was just hassled by Buford outside. Yeah, barbecue, mail-order bride, whatever. He mail-ordered his ex-wife? That doesn't even make any fucking sense. That's what he said. Don't you fucking get it? We're gonna be evicted. We have to do something. You're right. Let's split up. You go outside and I'll stay here with the fridge and the TV. Right. What's he doing? Wanna take away my home? I'll show him. I'll burn it down first. Mumbling threats again, huh? If I had a dollar every time you threatened to burn some place down? Yeah, yeah, you'd buy a new dildo. So what? Can't you see him spying on my landlord? Are you waiting for him to get undressed or just wipe his mouth with the same napkin he wiped his ass with? Real supportive. What the fuck am I supposed to do if I lose my home? Move in with me, like you promised two years ago. I told you before, your apartment stinks like cat piss and you don't even have a cat. Oh, baby, I just like the smell. <laughs> well, don't worry, I have a plan. I'll show that old bitch this place is too disgusting to renovate. It's full of perverts and worse. When I'm done, she'll be so grossed out, she'll have to leave. 
You can't gross her out. She was married to Buford. Have you seen him? The thought of those two buzzards fucking makes me want to puke. That's it. The old hag was married to Buford, right? I don't know. Right. So if memory serves me, those two idiots got divorced because of jealousy problems. So they can be unreconciled, you know what I mean? I don't care. That means we're going to that slop fest to break up those two decrepit retards. Oh, no. I am not going to that shit. What do you need me for? You're the slutty bait. All you have to do is wreck a marriage and ruin a happy home. Oh. Well, I'd like that. I'm here for my Pennsylvania princess. This is baggage claim. For idiot service, please follow the exit signs to our ambassador's lounge. Very funny, wise apple. Now, where in tarnation is my mail or the bride? I don't know. But there's a girl over there who's been talking to the change machine for a half an hour. Maybe that's her. Up that way. You must be Slavonia. <laughs> I'm your new daddy. All the fuckheads come to my counter. <laughs> she looks familiar. Ah, whatever. I'll go back and get your luggage, sweetie. Hell, I knew you fun girls were poor. Hee-hoo, <laughs> just a bundle of hospital clothes and an axe. That's what I call country living. A nice man gave me a car once, too. Now, don't you fret now, honey. You're married to Buford now. I know you live as a slave in your home country, but I'll always think of you more as a servant. That's nice. Come over here for a minute. Well, that's just a garbage can. Don't you people have them in wherever the fuck? Look closer. Hey, where's Buford? Where's the food? My name is Gypsy. What friends of your husband? You mean they found his body? Man, Buford must have robbed the cradle with you. What, he fuck you when you were 12? Just kidding. I'm sure you were used goods long before he met you. Buford is quite the man. Do you hear that? It sounds like helicopters or vampire bats. Don't be scared, baby. You can just put your face between my legs until you feel safe. Uh, Fula? Can I have a word with you for a minute? Now what the fuck do you think you're doing? Stop groping that bitch. I'm trying to cause internal strife. Okay, I don't see how getting your ass kicked is gonna break those two up. Because if Buford is happy, he'll sell the house. Bullshit. You're scared of her. Why? Oh, I heard stories. Like what? Like this neighborhood used to be expensive and upscale. When? 1920? Well, she gave Ronald McDonald the clap, got all the school kids hooked on meth, did gangbang movies when nobody was filming, and punched a judge who was about to acquit her. Then why are you hitting on her? Because, stupid. Buford ain't here, and if I get caught banging her, they'd for sure break up. So would we, fuckhead. I am through with this. Count me out! Fine. Just watch a master at work. I don't mind her. She's just a little jealous. See, we all swing around here, and uh, her and Buford, you know, they, uh, you know, every position, every chance they get. Why is everything melting? You know what would be the best revenge? Sleeping with a guy you just met at a backyard barbecue. Oh, baby, I'd fuck you like an automatic sex machine. What you say? You're a machine. That's why you're here. Talking dirty in my ear. You're so grabby, robot hands. Horny fuck drown, fat gut man. Look for wires, stab gut shot. Come with me. We'll Yeah. Uh.
you up for that or You wanna see it twice? There you go. Oh, you gonna need that bitch. Oh. Trick. I made a load of bread, and it's all your fault. You're all evicted. Oh no, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Move in with me, like you promised two years ago. No! Ah!